Hello friends, welcome to Bio Vidyalaya. This is Titra. In this video, we are going to discuss about K and R selected species. This topic I took from population ecology, and this will be helpful for those who are preparing for CSIR NET license, GATE license, NEET, and other competitive examination. K and R strategies are used by ecologists to describe. Growth and reproductive strategies of various organisms. K means carrying capacity and R means growth rate. So let's see what is mean by K and R selected species and what is the difference between them in detail manner. What is mean by K and R selected species? The terms K and R selected species was proposed by the biologist. Robert Mark Arthur and E O Wilson in 1967 These are two evolutionary strategies Are selected species are those species that produce many cheap offspring and live in unstable environment Are selected species are mainly egg laying organisms and uh, those species produce many cheap offspring that means they will produce many lot of offsprings and uh, their energy investment for the reproduction is very low so they will produce many cheap offsprings and they are living in unstable environment example star oysters insects uh, mosquitoes ants bacteria etc K selected species those species that produce few expensive offspring and live in stable environments K selected species are mainly mammals okay K selected species are those that produce few expensive offspring that means they will produce only less offspring only one or two in uh one reproduction and um, energy in investment for the reproduction is very large and they are living in stable environments okay examples are bat elephants giraffe humans dolphins etc okay so let's see what is the position of r and k selected species in a population growth curve i told you that r means growth rate and k means carrying capacity Here, R represents slope of the line representing exponential growth. Okay, and uh, K representing carrying capacity, carrying capacity of the habitat. What is mean by carrying capacity? Carrying capacity is refer to the maximum number of individuals of a population which can be provided with all the necessary resources like food water space etc for their healthy living as size of a population begins to decrease beyond the carrying capacity mostly k selected species will show carrying capacity and r selected species will not depend upon carrying capacity r selected species I uh, will show exponential growth. Okay. Next is difference between K and R selected species. If you know the examples of K and R selected species means you can easily compare and remember the difference between them. First feature is development. for our selected species development is rapid because it will the our selected species will reach their adulthood rapidly while k selected species slow because k selected species need more time to reach their adulthood next feature is reproduction rate our selected species is high because they will reproduce more offsprings in one reproduction 
So, our selected species reproduction rate is high. K selected species reproduction rate is low because they will reproduce less number of offsprings in one reproduction. And um, next is reproductive age. R selected early and uh, K selected late. Next feature is body size. R selected is small and K selected is large. Next reproduction type. R selected single reproduction semi parous because R selected species will go for only one reproduction in their lifetime, but they will reproduce more offsprings in that one reproduction. So they are called semi parous. While K selected species are repeat. Repeated reproduction and called iteroparous because K selected species will undergo many uh, reproduction, repeated reproduction in their lifetime, but they will produce only less number of individuals, less number of offsprings in one reproduction. So they are called iteroparous. So, a reproduction type in R selected species are semiparous and K selected species are itroparous. Length of life. Length of life is R selected species is short and K selected species is long. Competitive ability. Competitive ability means competition between individuals of the population. R selected species weak. K selected species high or strong. Risk of extinction R selected species low, K selected species high. Why low in R selected species? R selected species put only a small investment for their reproduction but produce more low effort babies. The benefit of this strategy is that if resources are limited or unpredictable, they can still produce some of their babies. So, extension rate of our selected species is low, while in case selected species, they will produce only a small number of offsprings in the um, reproduction and uh, energy investment for their reproduction is also more. So, if any natural disaster will come means hardly they will survive. So, risk of extinction is high in care selected species. Next is population regulation. Population is regulated by many factors like limited food supply, harmful effect of parasite, predator or competitors, etc. So, population regulation in our selected species is by density independent. Density independent factors like, uh, for example, flood, fire, storm, drought, etc. And uh, in isolated species, Population regulation is density dependent. Density dependent factors are like uh, disease transmission, food supply, uh, vulnerability to predator, like that. Okay. Next feature is parental care. Parental care absent in R selected. Because parents will not care for their babies in our selected species. K selected species present because in K selected species, their parents 
care their babies until that babies reach a particular age. Tropical level. Tropical level low, are selected, K selected high. Tropical level means position. Position in the wet food web is called tropical position. Tropical level. So, our selected species low and uh, K selected species high. Okay. Next. Niche. Our selected generalist. Generalist means species that are able to uh, live in a wide variety of environmental condition and can make use of variety of different resources. That is called generalist. So, R selected generalist. K selected specialist. Specialists can live in a narrow range of environmental conditions and they can use a limited diet. K selected are specialist. Next is population size. R selected variable above or below carrying capacity. K. I already told about carrying capacity and K selected is constant. Population size is constant for K selected near to carrying capacity K. Next is survivorship care. R selected type 3 and K selected type 1 or 2. This is survivorship curve. This is type 1. This is type 2. This is type 3. You just remember now. Survivorship curve for R selected species is type 3. And K selected species is type 1 and 2. Okay. In my next video, I will explain about survivorship curve. Here I am winding up this video. If you like this video and find it helpful, please like and share and subscribe this channel for getting more videos like this. Keep learning. Thank you.